Hey everyone, welcome back to my video blog where I talk about Azure, data services, and a little bit of professional development sometimes. Uh, today we're going to cover uh, an introduction to a new series that I'm going to put together um, that speaks to the modern data warehouse in Azure. So um, the way this is going to break down is I've got uh, five or six different topics and I'll, I'll do it in a multi-part series where uh, we've got these small consumable videos where you can look at some of the high level functionality and uh, you know give you at least some idea of where we're going with, with some of the topics here. Um, so to kick things off, right, we're going to look at what a modern data warehouse looks like. Uh, and just like your traditional on-prem data warehouse, we're looking at uh, how we're getting the data into Azure, right? And so where are we receiving it from? Obviously, we've got um, multiple inputs, whether it be structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data, um, IoT streams, uh, social networking, uh, SaaS applications, uh, traditional database applications, ERP, uh, tons of different sources, right? Um, and those can be lumped into whether they're, um, you know, we're going to run batch jobs, uh, we're going to run streaming jobs, or going to be bulk loading that data into Azure. And so there's multiple ways to do that, and there's multiple tools within Azure to do that, and outside as well. Uh, so then as we go down the line, right, we're going to look at the orchestration of that data, how it gets moved around, um, the scheduling and, you know, when and why and where and all that stuff. And then finally, the monitoring. How do we how do we look at, um, you know, wh when a job fails or, or when it needs to be reset? Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the storage of that data when we do land it in Azure. Um, so, you know, basically we can break it up into three uh, primary zones. Sometimes it's four or five, but we'll call it three for now, where you have a raw storage zone, so your landing zone. You've got a stage zone, uh, so as the data is being manipulated. And then you've got a curated or refined or trusted zone. Uh, you know, and, and you may have any number combination of these or, or more. Um, but essentially, those would be the three zones. Uh, and then looking at where that data actually gets stored. So is it into an Azure data lake? Is it Azure storage, Azure files? Um, you know, maybe a structured database if, if we're not going to use a data lake. Um, you know, so we've got a lot of options there on how we do that. And it also depends on what your source is and what you need to use it for. Uh, so then the next aspect uh, will be the, the preparation and transformation of that data, right? So when we look at the data transformation, you know, so uh, manipulating the data, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, combining columns or, or adding derived columns or uh, sorting the data or joining uh, a couple of tables or data sources, all that type of activity when we're doing a transformation. Um, then we're going to look at sort of that staging layer, as we mentioned, and, and where the data lives when we're working on it and who has access to it and those types of things. Uh, we can look at uh, machine learning concepts and, and what we can use that machine learning data for, right? Uh, and we'll cover things like Azure Data Factory and Databricks, uh, where they fit into the mix. Now, after we've gotten past that um, transformation and preparation, uh, we need to basically serve up the data. data. So we, we will look at this as like a, a semantic layer, um, you know, to, do, to use the traditional data warehouse term. Um, and, and where does that data live before it gets presented out, right? So is it in Azure Synapse and, and all the great features that are coming out in that? Or HD Insight, if, if you're comfortable and familiar with Hadoop, um, Azure Analysis Services is still a very viable product. Um, next, we get to the presentation layer, right? So um, we'll focus mainly on um, uh, Microsoft products like Power BI, whether it be visualization um, reports, dashboards, or paginated reports and dashboards. Um, but then we can also focus on things like the XMLA endpoints capability uh, to be able to serve up that data into additional uh, platforms. So if you've got a, a third party uh, uh, reporting platform that you want to use, um, there's a lot of capability there using the XMLA endpoints. And finally, uh, we'll wrap things up with a, um, a video on governance. And so in governance, we're going to cover some of the topics that are very often forgotten about, which are things like data quality, uh, master data management, and data discovery and catalog. So 
continue this as your uh, introduction, if you will. Um, but the, we'll have a, probably a five or six part series um, where we cover each of those topics in much more detail. And, uh, you know, if, if there are any questions in the meantime, definitely fire them down below or reach out to me. I'm very active on social. Uh, if you like this, please um, check out uh, more of my videos, like uh, the, the video itself and, and add in a comment or two. Uh, and then subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. All the support helps and uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.